Hello everyone out there in YouTube land. We are back this time. We're still at the same place at the same time. But this time, I've split up my video into two portions. Because surprisingly, when I came to Balaya Creek, this small little creek near to the city, I found that there were much, many more instances where I saw the unique creatures, the unique fauna that lives in this place. So what I did was, I decided to split up my videos into two parts. The first part, I just show you the beauty of this place, the naturalness of this place, and on the second part, let's just meet the residents at this small little stream, this mangrove swamp, this little place called Elia Creek. And of course, the things that you, you are looking for, like I was trying to look for mudskippers, but unfortunately, at this time when I went there, I couldn't find any of them. But I did see these root systems that are under this tree, which is a very unique feature of mangrove swamps. These roots actually spread out and it helps to keep the mud you know, from being washed away by the sea because the sea just comes in and out following the tide and these roots actually holds the mud creates a nice habitat for creatures for plants and also helps with oxygen gives oxygen to the uh, mud and the environment and the first creature that i saw here which most of the time when you come here during certain timings you can actually see many of them are squirrels and they are all over the place and you also can see evidence of them being around because they do poop on the railings and you will notice a lot of poops on the railings so do be careful when you touch the railings as you can see here i might have came at the at a certain timing where as you can see the squirrels if you look at them, they are actually watching you to see what are you doing, whether you are coming close to them. If you come too close to them, they will disappear. If you stay still, they will just watch you. And you can get some really, really nice videos of them, like what I'm trying to do now. Them playing around in the brush. Look at that. He's looking at me. And when he saw me looking at him, he also moved away. I guess that's a very natural reaction from them. Hello there. Oop. Being prepared. If I come closer, he will dart away. But of course, I'm not going to come close to him. Let's give him some space. And here you can actually see a squirrel eating something, probably some kind of fruit. It's hiding behind these leaves. Shy little buggers, aren't they? But this time, on my trip here, I met many, many squirrels. Look, more of them. This time, we need to be quiet because the one behind is actually sleeping. Whereas the one in front is actually the lookout and is actually awake and you can actually see the eyes looking at me. So try not to make too much noise. You might wake up the sleeping squirrel. Shh. 
Keep quiet. Let's keep to away from here. That was a uh, water monitor lizard, one of the bigger uh, lizards that you can find in Singapore. And one of the reasons why you normally don't see many of the creatures here is because they are perfectly camouflaged, like this butterfly. As you can see, they is essentially resting on the leaf, but because of its brown colour, it looks like a leaf. So people will just walk past it and will not notice it's there. And as I was walking around here, I noticed lots of people just keep walking around, never noticing anything or any of the creatures or the plants, unless they are in your way, like this bird, which is just lazing around, walking around. And as I get closer, of course, it will try to jump into the brush and hide itself. But before it could disappear too far, I got close enough to look at it. And look at that. Come on, man. How often do you get to see birds like this, man? Birds are one of the more panicky creatures. You never, you rarely get a chance to catch them on video very rare so most people when they come here they just walk all the way to the end then come back or well, maybe go along a Labrador park never noticing anything especially look at this these are red ends uh, some ants, these type of ants, you do not want to get onto your body because once they get onto you, they bite you and it's very painful. So be, be careful of railings. Railings are where you can get ants or you can get your hands on some squirrel poop. But in the distance there you can see, it's the river. And of course, as I was walking along here, I'm still trying to find mud skippers, but somehow I couldn't find any or they are very hard to find because they are perfectly camouflaged or they are hiding under the mud. But what I saw instead was birds, look at that, in the river. So they, the river does support uh, certain bird species and one of them are here. And also kingfishers, but it's very hard to catch them on camera. Very hard. So this one here, they are actually uh, bathing themselves in the river. So from far away, I was able to catch some video of them. In their natural behavior, their natural habitat. And now, the star of the show. What I was very surprised to find were otters. Look at that. Can you see that? Otters actually swimming in the Belaya Creek. So they were playing around, playing in the mud, swimming around, going in circles, twirling. Looks like we have another family in of otters in the Balaya Creek and these otters can actually swim easily to Sentosa. 
or the surrounding area. I'm very surprised to find them here, especially now. I mean, I didn't expect to find them here. The last time I was here, or the last few times I was here, I never saw them. But they are here now. Let's just follow them and just see as much of them as I can. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed our otterific adventure here today, where we saw lots of different animals and otters. So, if you like what you see so far, please do me a favor. Please help me by liking my video, sharing my videos, and also subscribing to my channel, where I will do more videos about nature, walking along Singapore, all the different places, all the natural places in Singapore, even though we are a metropolitan country. Metropolitan city, we still have greeneries and natural, natural beauty and natural heritage that are all over the place. And I will do my best to uh, bring that to you and also introduce you to Singapore food, hawker food, uh, delicious Singapore food, which is also uh, what I do on my channel. So you like those two things? The best thing to do is subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to get the latest notification for my videos. And lastly, but the most important thing, what you need to do is to join me for my next adventure. Even though I'm leaving you here. <laughs> anyway, I guess that's it. Uh, see you next time. Join me next into my next adventure. I will see you there. Bye-bye.